Ricardo Luna versus Diego Pacheco. Man, look, I told y'all before that Xander Zayas and Diego Pacheco, they're the ones. They're the ones. They're the they're the new, that's that new thing. You know, the young, young bosses coming in, those two are nice. And they're in the perfect divisions. But Diego Pacheco, second round, knockout, done. The the corner actually said, hey, stop this thing. So that was it. Second round. I mean, Pacheco was coming through nice, crispy, sharp, powerful jabs and straight shots. Just detonation. And you can see there's patience there. There's poise, right? There's a lot of just maturity that you see from Pacheco. And that's why, that's why I said I, those two, to me, Xander Zayas and Diego Pacheco, those were the two that stood out to me that I was like, man, they could go far. So, yeah, they just got those intangibles. And Pacheco showed it all tonight. You could tell. He was ready. He, he, man, he could have gone 15 rounds. He was looking good. So, good stuff. Luno didn't deserve to be in there really with him. Pacheco's on a whole nother level. But you got to take these type of fights when you're on the, on the come up. So, congratulations goes out to Diego Pacheco. Congratulations to his team with the second round TKO corner stoppage. Yeah. So off to a good good card. Like I told you, we in that uh, Estrada Chocolatito. It's going to be for the vacant WBC Super Flyweight Championship tonight. Yeah, it's one to definitely watch. Chocolatito Estrada 3. Let's get it. So with that being said, as always, peace, one love. I'll see you at the top.